Well, hello, YouTubers. Today we're going to do a little car review on my Dodge Neon, my 2002 Dodge Neon, which got me through a hurricane. Now, I know there are hundreds of car reviews on the Dodge Neon, a lot of them trashing this vehicle, but this is going to be more of a positive note on the Dodge Neon. Now, I picked this Dodge Neon up about, uh, oh, seven months ago, paid $350 for it, and it had some obvious uh, problems. The transmission had a problem. It actually had a bad torque converter, which I replaced, pulled the transmission out, and put the torque converter in, which was about $100. Now, I understand a lot of times you can't do this kind of work, but if you can still get a Dodge Neon that's shifting good, running good, let me just tell you this little story. It will get you by. Now, one reason I bought the vehicle was my goal was to save $1,000 in fuel in one year because I had a 2000 Ford Explorer that only got about 18 to 20 miles to the gallon. Now, this thing here gets over 30 miles to the gallon, and I have I reached my goal. I've actually passed the goal. I've actually saved about $1,200 this year in fuel. It's a great feeling. And also, one of the main reasons I'm probably selling this uh, vehicle is because winter's coming up and I'm making this video. I want to kind of give it a farewell, uh, goodbye video. Because in the wintertime, to be honest, you don't want to be driving these in the snow. They are horrible in the snow. But the rest of the year, when it's not snowing 99% of the time, these are great vehicles, especially if you live down south. Now, I'm not going to get into too many details and aspects and specs about this. You can do that online yourself if you're interested in buying one of these vehicles used. Now, I can tell you that the 2002 uh, model here, they made these from 2000 to 2005 when they discontinued this model. Now, this one here is a four-door. It comes with this little spoiler, which makes it kind of cute. And it has a uh, fairly nice seat. So we'll go inside and we'll look around and I'll show you uh, some of the features here. Now the previous models from 96 to 2000, uh, when they went to 2000 to 2005, they made over a thousand revisions, believe it or not, in making this car. And one of them was no more seamless frames around the windows. This model here has these nice uh, solid frame here. When the window goes up and down, it doesn't let that window... Uh, leak air when you're driving it like my old one did in 96 and some of the other revisions here they did they had power door locks power windows only to the front doors now the back doors they are not power you have to reach back there and crank those up and down with your hand but hey you know what they have power locks back there now the inside start it up it has 140, uh, so right now I am clocking over 122,000 miles, so I've actually got a relatively uh, low mileage vehicle, believe it or not. It has AC, uh, this one here, uh, what I really did like what they did to uh, this model here, and I think they did the same thing to the previous models in the 90s. You can flip this back to uh, bring some fresh air in, or you can turn it to recirculate the air around. And let me tell you what, if your air conditioner is working, this thing in here, you can hang meat. It will freeze you out inside this vehicle, which is really nice, especially if you're going to be in a hurricane, which I'll show you here in a few minutes. Yes, I spent a couple of nights in this vehicle in a hurricane. Overall, the seats are in good shape. It's got a pretty decent sound system, just a CD player. Some of these models, you can get a cassette or a CD player. Now, one thing I never understood, they never really put an aux jack in here where you can hook up an MP3 player or your own personal music setup. But uh, other than that, I just use something like this. It's a thing you stick into your uh, radio, into your uh, speakers. Your, it's like an RCA jack type. And you change the frequency to a certain frequency, and it picks up the music just fine, which works good for me. And also the headliner, it is in pretty decent shape for something that was made back in 2005. And the seats are in pretty good shape. you got a pretty good uh, headrest there. Same on this side. And also, believe it or not, this model even has a tilt wheel. Not too many uh, newer vehicles today even have a tilt wheel. Also, it has uh, delay wipers. You can turn it on mist, high, low, which is kind of nice, especially on drizzly days. And also, like I said a few minutes ago, it has great air conditioning, and the heat will run you out. Lots of good venting there, and also the fan works really well. It pushes the air into the cabin nicely. And also you got a little place here to put maybe a pack of uh, gum or some keys and also in the center here we do have a little console and you can flip this back like this 
And if anybody's in the back, you can actually have them put a drink in here or whatever. And you've got storage room here for some things that you might need. And in the center here, you have another cup holder. And you actually have two more down here. Now, I will tell you, the ones up here are kind of annoying because if you have something plugged in here in the cigarette ladder, I always reached down and kept hitting this to try to get the drink out. But technically, you're supposed to put your drink on this side. But since I'm very long-armed, I'm kind of a tall guy. I like to reach out a little bit and grab my drink. Also, the power, uh, the uh, the uh, brake here, the uh, emergency brake works really well. Have no problem with that. And this one here is an automatic on the floor. And you can see how the uh, lights there. There's a light behind here at night you can see that will light up these when you shift into the gears that you want to be in. Now as for the floor and everything, pretty good shape. Now I did have some rust problems when I first bought it. Had to do a little body work on the bottom, but overall this is probably the worst thing about these vehicles, especially if you live in the Northeast. The bodies are notorious for rusting out. Basically, they made these out of tin cans, if you will. But if you can get one that doesn't have a really bad body problem rusting out, you can actually restore these, and they're very nice cars. And you can see on this side, the body wasn't too bad, but it did have to replace a little bit right about there in order to have a state inspection done. But other than that, the tires are in really good shape. Now, these tires on here are either 14 or 15, and I'll show you something on the door I never understood. Now, here on the door, if you look, it can take two types of tires. It can take a 175 70 14 or a 185 60 15. Now on this vehicle what do I have right now? Well I do believe that these are 14th if I remember correctly. Uh, yes these are 185 65 14 so by going to a 15 inch tire I'm not sure if it would throw your speedometer off that much. Now I know going through construction zones where they have the barrels up and they have the flashing uh, speed limit sign. Well, I do know that this is off about three or four miles an hour, so I'm not sure what that's all about, but just so you know, you can actually put two different size tires on this vehicle. Okay, we'll go up here to the trunk and we'll check this out. Now, one thing I will say that these do have a problem with, sometimes in a heavy rainstorm, or like a hurricane I was in, uh, you can get water leaking around these uh, these uh, tail lights here. And this is uh, pretty true on the uh, 1990 models back in the 96 to 2000 models. If you pull this back, you basically have to pull this uh, rear tail light out and redo this seal and put some uh, silicone around there. And that will take the water issue off. And sometimes the water will drain down into the low spot here where your tire is. And I have just a little bit of water. I don't know if you can see that on my hands. It's kind of damp down there. But obviously, like I said, I was in a hurricane. But um, it's pretty dry right now. And on this side, the same thing. Take tail light out. And um, you can fix that if you have that problem. And it has a nice seal here. So it seals everything up nicely. You don't have any uh, fumes coming in from your exhaust or anything. And it has a nice spacious trunk here where you can throw a lot of stuff in, which is kind of nice. Now, some of the things I've had to do, I've had to replace a rear wheel cylinder, which was about $20. It was a piece of cake. It was just leaking, nothing serious. I did, I did end up replacing the front lower sway bars because they were a little noisy. And as for the engine... I did drop the transmission out and replace it with a torque converter because when I got it, when you would put it in gear, it would just die. It was like someone was popping the clutch, and sometimes torque converters go out doing that uh, kind of a symptom. And also, I replaced the battery on this Neon. Now, one thing I can tell you, I've had several Neons in the past, and I've talked to other people. They always have problems with these batteries. Here's what you got to do. When you get a battery on here, you got to clean these terminals really good. And you got to make sure it's nice and clean and make sure this positive is nice and tight because what happens is after a while you'll get this corrosion in here and when you go to go start this vehicle up all you'll do is get a click 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 and there's been a lot of times people thought their starter was out but you got to really keep this nice and clean here same thing with the negative side and i have not had a problem with this like i said i was in a hurricane let me just show you something here that uh might get your attention if you decide to buy one of these and it got me through this storm. Some nice gust there. Wow.
Cat One Hurricane. Okay, so how about that? Yeah, I didn't get wet either, so I stayed in most of the time. It was enjoyable, and a lot of you know that I do uh, storm chasing on the side and often sell video to networks. But uh, I wanted to take this uh, down there and back, and I drove it from West Virginia down to uh, Wilmington and back. I put a thousand some miles on it, and I didn't even burn a hundred dollars in gas, which is great. You know, this Neon has a 105 wheel inch base and it weighs 2,900 pounds. Now, the cars they make today say the Fiat. It only has a 90-inch wheelbase and weighs only 2,400 pounds. So uh, they're making cars today that are actually smaller than this Neon from back in uh, 2002. And this Neon has 150 horsepower, has a dual overhead cam, which the ones back in the 90 had a single overhead cam only producing 132 uh, pounds of uh, torque. And I gotta tell you, this thing has got a lot of power. Now we're about to get on the freeway up here and we're gonna turn left. And of course, I'll probably have to wait on Grandma here. From a dead stop, now the acceleration in my Neon, it's quite nice. I can zip across lanes with no problems. And as we're about to get on the uh, freeway here, We'll let this guy go by as he looked at me he says oh my he's in a he's in a dodge neon i better uh, get out of the way <laughs> no so now we're getting on the on-ramp here and we're doing about 30 35 great response and this intersection here is notorious for a lot of wrecks and as you can see we are now merging in with traffic and we are now up to 50 miles an hour 60, 65, 70, 75, no problem. Lots of power. And remember that guy in the truck? Well, I'm right on his tail, so. Lots of power in the Dodge Neon. I like these cars. Now, before the video gets too much longer here, and there's a lot more I'd like to say and add, but I don't want to make this video too long. We're going to go ahead and start this up real quick. And give you a nice uh, look and by the way the keys are not a this is not a fob key which is kind of nice uh, if you lose this and you can get a key you can uh, use it and start it right back up but this starts up really nice and my advice is if you ever buy a neon I don't care what batteries on it throw it out go to Walmart or something and buy you one for fifty dollars and it'll get you by now one thing that these neons did do a lot they made a peck a ticking sound or a uh, knocking sound but believe it or not this one is not doing it right now sometimes it'll do it sometimes it won't uh, there's some discussion if it's a rod or if it's just a bad lifter but it never really hurt the vehicle and also one other thing I wanted to add I did replace this uh, motor mount right down here in the center it goes bad a lot and this one was really uh, hard to get into and I did it in my garage late one night and got the uh, mount for probably $30. But you can see how nice it sounds. Typical sounding Dodge Neon. And, it, and like I said earlier, this is the 2.0 16 valve, which makes about 150 pounds of um, horsepower. That's about the same as a Cessna 150 airplane. But I'll give you one nice look around here real quick. And by the way, this one actually has factory fog lights. When I bought it, the girl had hit a deer and it replaced this front fascia. And I actually have the other factory fog light to put back over here, so I've just left them out for now. And you got the air cleaner right here. Pretty big air cleaner. And trust me, if you uh, disconnect any of these hoses down here, especially this inlet tube going into the plenum down here, it'll kill the engine right away. You gotta make sure all this is nice and tight, especially this guy here, neck clamp there. Oil's in good shape. You know, it's not the cleanest car in the world, but if you want to save some money to get you around for a while, these cars are not a bad way to do it. And like I said, they're making brand new cars today a heck of a lot smaller than this one. So we'll give you a nice look around. Oh, and by the way, when I was in the hurricane, I kept hearing something going flap, 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 flap. Well, it turns out <laughs> this thing here, I believe, might need a spring. It kept doing that during the hurricane. So it was kind of a strange sound. And uh, other than that, that's about the end of the video. Just wanted to show you guys 
my 2002 Dodge Neon. And one other thing, when I was in the hurricane and going through a lot of water, I realized, let me shut this off real quick, that on this side, the plastic that goes around the splash guards is not on there all the way. It was flapping and water was actually getting up on my belt. But the neon kept on going. So, there's a nice look at the Dodge Neon 2002. And we'll take another look back here. I'll show you the back real quick, the back seats. And every time you start it, you gotta kinda go up here and hit the power button to unlock everything. And you can see the back seats are nice, and you can pull these down like this if you need to haul something. You pull that down. Same thing over there, you pull that down. And it's got a pretty decent stereo system, speakers in the back, in the back back there. And you got a place back here where you can actually put something, you know, if you've got uh, some people traveling. Now during the hurricane, I'd like to add, uh, I was pretty comfortable. I, the seat goes way back. And you got this guy right here. If I sit in here like this, pull this back, I can lay practically all the way back. So it was very comfortable to be sitting in this thing, looking out the window, rolling the window down, and watching the hurricane blow by. So this has been a pretty good car for me. I am going to hate to see it go, but there are still a lot of these on the market, and I have a lot of knowledge on these vehicles. So if I get another one down the road, I will be able to do my thing and possibly restore it. It's been a really good car, and I hope you've uh, really enjoyed my little quick video on the 2002 Dodge Neon. Like I said, there's a lot more I could have added, but I didn't want to make this video, uh, you know, for another 20 minutes. So uh, I know your attention span is probably just about there, and mine too. All right, guys, so that's about it. And by the way, I have two GPSs when I'm traveling around. I like to leave one kind of on a bigger view and the other one in on to a more of a closer view so I don't miss my exits or whatever. And you can see in the back window that it has a nice heating element to uh, keep ice and snow melted in the wintertime. So, and uh, it's been a good vehicle so far. Um, right now I have about $550 into the vehicle. I know, it's crazy. But if you want to get ahead in life, this is what you got to do. You got to start small. Don't be making car payments, okay? <laughs> So uh, thanks for watching the video, subscribe and all that, and until my next video, I will see you guys later.